Australian Mathematics Curriculum. Substitution. We know that any pronumeral stands for a number. If we discover or get given the value of that number, we can substitute it in to find the value of the expression. For example, if we get told that a equals 2 and b equals negative 5, we can evaluate a, an expression that has those two pronumerals in it. For example here, a plus 3b. To work this out, substituting in the values, a is 2 plus 3. Now 3b is 3 times b, so we write 3 times negative 5. We'll pop that in the brackets just to make life a little bit easier. Making sure that we pay attention to our order of operations, we have 2 plus 3 times negative 5, negative 15, and 2 minus 15, negative 13. We can evaluate the expression ab squared. Substitute in the values that we know. a is 2. ab means a times b. This will be 2 times b squared. b is negative 5, and we're squaring it. Negative 5 squared is 25. Remembering that's positive. Negative 5 times negative 5, 25, times 2, 50. We've substituted in the values to evaluate the expression. We can also substitute using a table of values. When instead of just substituting in one value for an unknown, we say, well, what would happen if this value was 0, or 1, or 2? In this expression, y equals 3x minus 7, we're going to see what happens if x was 0, and then 1, and then 2. We substitute each value in turn. To show an example for the first one, we have y equals 3x minus 7. We substitute in the value of 0 for x. 3 times 0, minus 7. 3 times 0 is, of course, 0. So we're left with y equals negative 7 if x was 0. And we place it in the appropriate box. We don't always have to do this working, but it's there if we need. Do we move on? If x was 1, 3 times 1, 3x, is 3. So I've got 3 minus 7, negative 4. If x is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 7, negative 1. We've filled in our table of values. You'll meet these a lot. This forms a pattern. It forms a straight line in this case that we could graph. And it forms these sets of ordered pairs, which we could, if we wanted, since this is x, y, graph on a number plane. All this says is when x is 0, for this particular rule, y would be negative 7.